done is he's slowly but surely dismantling a tree and you'll see we'll cross over from color to black and white every now and then because it's still quite dark the camera is battling to pick up light in color mode and we don't want to shine bright lights on our elephants so that's why we've gone into infrared but he's dismantled the tree he's left a few branches lying on the road there and you'll find that he actually hasn't eaten too much of the leaves themselves and that's because he's not really after the leaves of that particular plant if it is the plant I think he's feeding on it's probably one of the bush willows and at this time of the year they don't really eat the leaves of the bush willows the bush willow leaves are starting to dry out and become yellow and brown and not very pleasant to eat at all but there is the cambium layer and the cambium layer is packed with nutrients it's what the transport system from the roots up into the leaves and it means that it's a great place for an elephant to look for food. So they will break branches and they'll feed off them and then just drop them, leaves and all, once they've gotten that cambium layer off. From there, then they mix up the salad and they start to go and get some grass and then varying other tree species as well. But he's an absolute gentleman. He's very relaxed this morning. It doesn't look like he's in must from what I can see. It's still so dark, it's difficult to know whether he's in must or not. But it, by the looks of it, he's not really leaking too heavily from his temporal gland or from between his legs. Remember when they're in must they'll have a heavy leaking from their penile sheath and it will smell. Paula, you're wondering about the nighttime vision of elephants. Well, elephant vision is pretty similar to ours, so not great at night. Um, remember though that when you spend time out at night and you actually sit out here, your eyes will adjust and you'll be able to see a little bit better. It's when we, the thing about us is we come from very light environments because we have lights on in rooms and we step outside, it's completely pitch black for us. But if you spend time out here, you can start to make out shapes and varying other things. So their, their, their night vision is not great, but they do have insane hearing and an insane sense of smell coupled with a, with a vision that is able to just determine shapes and things in the night. So they are able to keep quite safe. Also, when you weigh five, six tons and you are the biggest animal out here, there's very few things that are going to give you trouble. So it doesn't really matter if they walk around with fairly limited eyesight at night. They certainly aren't going to be worried too much, particularly males of this size. There's not going to be anything that's really going to go after them other than people, I'm afraid. And luckily in this part of the world, the people don't really go after our illy bulls. They, in fact, we have a very limited poaching here in the Sabi Sands, which is fantastic because it means our elephants are very relaxed and very chilled and the population is on the increase. So it's always nice when you have a situation like that and it's a big, big thanks must go to our anti-poaching units who work tirelessly to keep all of these animals in this particular area safe. They often out all night on foot for days at a time just to secure the area and make sure that our animals and well us as well we get to enjoy the animals that live here so as you can see he's just stopped to listen now like I was saying there are a number of herds around there was a herd yesterday that was around Twin Dams another one at Gowry Dam and we didn't even check the northern side so there could have been some around Buffalo's Hook and that's what's attracted a lot of these males in so we've seen a lot of male elephants actually on the fringes of those herds there was a massive massive bull here a few days ago it was on Friday night and we saw a really large male and then some of the other smaller guys that are also accompanying those bigger bulls and trying to mate with females and potentially quite a few females that are coming into estrus if there's a lot of herds and the herds that have been here have tended to be really large big herds and so it means that the likelihood of a female mistress is quite high and that will then attract these bulls in as they try and compete for mating. You can see there, look how he's just brushing the grass up against his front legs. So this time of the year the tops of the grass is quite dry and devoid of nutrients and therefore the elephant got to try and see if it can't use the root system instead. So the root system, much like the bark layer of these trees, is housing quite a bit of nutrients and so better than eating the top parts of the grass that is dry and, and has been leached of its moisture and nutrients, they go after the root system that is still holding on to the last bit that the grass has to stay alive and last the winter before the summer months come. So that's why he's eating those. So Lauren, you're wondering about when elephants get their first teeth. Well, within the first few months they will have teeth already. So the teeth start pushing forward as they start getting up to about three months old. 
they'll start to just see them coming through. Remember that with elephants, they have six sets of teeth and it's almost like a train track. So they start at the back and as the teeth grow, they push forward into the mouth and they then use and slowly but surely are worn and the next set then comes through. So already at about three months, they're starting to come through. They don't really need their teeth much for that first three months because, well, they're suckling off mom's milk and they'll continue to suckle for two years. But from about three months old, they're starting to use the trunk a little bit and they're starting to maybe shove some food in their mouth. You'll see them trying to bite on grass and trees and so it just helps to have small little teeth to start. And it's interesting because their first teeth are tiny little things. They're very, very small. They almost look like little pebbles that are inside the mouth. And then as they grow and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to the size of a male like this, their teeth become almost the length of my forearm and are big crushing plates that they have inside there and they'll be able to then destroy vegetation like what they're seeing now into small, well they cut it up into little clumps basically and they swallow it and then the stomach does the rest. So it is from about three months that you start to see the little teeth but they're really only actually relying on their teeth heavily from about two years old because prior to that they'll still mostly drink milk and then they'll start to substitute their diet and once they reach two they really are able to eat pretty much only solid food and very little milk will be coming their way so the teeth have to be well developed by then. This guy is super chilled. I might just try and see if we can't just edge a little bit closer. I want to see what tree he's been feeding off and see if it is a bush willow indeed and he is just ambled slightly off the road now. Just now he was still on the road a little bit so I didn't want to come too close to him while he was there. He certainly looks like he's a very chilled individual. He's not showing any aggressive signs towards us while we've been sitting here talking to him so it's very cool and look at that you can see the dawn colors in the background as well his little pink hues just above his head there and the sun hasn't quite risen yet it's still probably i would say about another 15 minutes or so until we'll get a sunrise and so there's these dawn colors on the opposite side of the sunrise in the western side yes good old morning having a little look and a little scratch of the ear it's always important when you've got an ear itch to to use the trunk and make sure that you get rid of it. 